Greetings from Leicestershire. Uh, this is an update on the family tree. You can see uh, it's in blossom. For the first time ever, it's got a decent spread of blossom over all of the branches. And I'm just going to go a little bit closer so we can have a, have a, a look at what's going on. You can see uh, each branch has got a different coloured blossom. You can see here Let's see if I can put my finger there. Um, here is Mott's pink crinkly blossom. Uh, next to it, the white blossom is rosette. Going around the tree, here we have an American variety called crimson gold. That's the blossom here. There is Spencer seedless on this tree somewhere. This is an apple. This is an apple which is seedless. Let's see if I can find some of the flowers. Yes, here we are. Now you can see here. This is a Spencer seedless branch. I'm going to put my finger where the flowers are. And can you see that the Flowers have no petals. I'll just move my finger so you can see exactly where it is. Here are the, the flowers. No petals at all. The only indication you have when these flowers are out is the stigmas, the central part of the flower, comes out from the end. Five little stigmas come out. Let's see if I can find any that are at that state. Yes, I think I've found some here. Can I zoom in? Let's see if we can still maintain the focus. Now, these flowers here, stigmas are just starting to come out of the end. These flowers are odd because they will form fruit even when there are no bees. They do not require bees for pollination. The only difference is, if you do get pollination accidentally, um, because obviously the flowers having no petals don't attract insects, but if you get accidental pollination or deliberate pollination by adding pollen to the stigmas, um, the apples have seeds which are fertile. What other varieties can we find? Let's have a look. Uh, this one is Egremont Russet. Oh, I don't think I can get round there. It's a bit, the, the grass is very wet and I've got shoes on. Let's go the other way. Laxton's Fortune. That red flower is Breunsdorfer. That's from a town in just over the old German, uh, of the old West German border. Right, just about an inch round here. This one up here is Witted Pippin. Difficult doing a, a video on my own. Here we are, Witted Pippin. Discovery. Laxton's Fortune. Very, very early apple. Apples about as big as golf, golf balls. Very sweet. Don't keep, of course.
this one. Just have a look at the label. Uh, that one looks like Sweet 16. Oh, that looks good. Look at the red blossom here. That's a German variety called Rotter Mond, which means red moon. That's a red fleshed, of course. You can see the centre of the tree is nice and empty. I've taken all of the branches away from the centre to let in light. So this should have, with a bit of luck, this year it should have a good crop. With all these different blossoms on the same tree, probably 20 different sorts, there should be no problem with um, cross-pollination or compatibility. Everything will be compatible with something. That's it for now.